Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lauren, aka that Bean Girl. Thank you so 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 much for joining us today. It means it means the world, okay? It just means the absolute world. So thank you. Putting my hands up here, right? It's been a long time coming because I literally shop on student list three times a month. It's not good. It's not healthy. But you know what I always say? Klarna made me do it. It's so accessible with apps like Klarna and Clearpay, making you pay later, and you're just like, give me all the clothes. So me and my little unhealthy love affair with Klarna and also Sheen, I was like, why not film it? Like literally all these clothes each month and I'm like, why have I never filmed it? So I'm sitting down today, it's actually tonight now, it's at 7 o'clock, it is so dark, like trying to set up my lighting and stuff and this, <sighs> we're into fall weather, we don't have like a sun anymore, the natural light is absolutely brutal, trying to make your room equipped for filming a video. But... You don't need that negativity in your life. You need the positivity of a whole. These lights are really cute, right? They keep falling down and it's so inconvenient. Rude. Maybe it's worth mentioning now since they are trying to steal the show of this video. They're from Sheen and you get this little app that you download. They go by Bluetooth. You can put them on flashing. You can make them look like waves. You can do any colour you want. And you can see from the little video here, it's so cool. And they're literally like five pounds or something. So when you can actually get them to stick, they're pretty great. So if you haven't done so already, please hit the bell and subscribe to the channel. It means so much. Just follow my YouTube and see previous videos that we have done that you may like. Either hauls, makeup tutorials or anything in between. I recently started a girl talk series about um, lashes, love and life and just covering everything. Basically, if you follow me on Instagram at that being girl, at the end of each month, I will create a poll where I want you guys to get involved, create a discussion about girl talk, girl problems, and anything in between. So definitely get involved in that. And remember, if you love this video, get a big thumbs up because the support means everything. But let's jump right into it. Can I just say, right, I feel so weird doing this video because I, I usually make a more of an effort put makeup on and stuff like that but I feel so para being on camera with just tan on a bit of bronzer a bit of concealer like there's nothing on my face coverage wise so like I feel pure para but I needed to film this video I couldn't bother getting ready it's a Sunday I couldn't bother like doing a full glam look for sitting in my house like patch that literally one of the biggest online retailers I think I've seen somewhere but this overtaken Amazon is the place to shop which is pretty crazy it's one of those places that has absolutely everything like I bought the most randomest stuff from it and I've also bought some of the greatest stuff from it I have Products such as little um, nozzles for your oil to put in your like pan. Get like stuff that you put down your drains to clean it, like random things at such cheap prices. Like obviously you're going to buy them because it's cheap. It's so cheap that it's too good to be true. Like also the fact it comes from China and China has a bit of a rep where stuff is pretty cheaply made, it isn't accurate. And of course when you get photos like this on Sheen where one picture is probably the original but then they've photoshopped the same photo to put all the different colours on you're probably like nah and that's not going to arrive that colour but weirdly they somehow manage it like anytime I've seen something I bought it and I know it's not the actual on the model they've just kind of photoshopped the colour on and I'm obviously a bit weary but every time I bought something like that it has actually arrived the colour that was fake. I don't think I've ever had something that's like so different from the photo whether that's material or sizing or anything like that. Like it's always what it actually described, what it looked like. The colours are actually quite accurate and I've never had anything that's like too dark or too light compared to the photo. I would definitely say they're more reliable all around than Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo and that's a big fucking statement on it. Like they are the biggest UK retailer brands but Sheen is like half the price or even less than that and they're absolutely killing it. They're more reliable, they're also like I'd say more true to size. The material is better, the fits are better like I barely show up a pretty little thing in Boohoo now because I can get it all on Sheen for much cheaper and just much better. When you buy a jacket or a blazer or something on Boohoo it's going to be like really thin material underneath 
and we've seen I always find that the material is really thick underneath and it's never really light but by a jacket it's such good quality. The good thing with Sheen as well is if you pop down into the reviews people want to gain Sheen points and Sheen points basically means you can collect them whether that's from confirming a delivery, it could be from writing a review, shopping in general, all these things earn your Sheen points and when you get Sheen points it means you can eventually use them with a purchase to get your total down. So even people wear the lingerie showing you photos and it's from that you can kind of gather what your size may be so I would definitely say if you're looking for something always check the reviews if there isn't any yet because it's a new item trust the system trust the process because nine times out of ten it will be successful so what did I buy from Sheen now when I bought from Sheen recently I was trying to get like matchy matchy so like outfits rather than just singles so I have done a little modelling video that I'll always put to my left and you can see that how it looks to something else and you can see them individually but also how they look paired together so I'm going to talk through these outfits in pairs and how they formed a look so that you can kind of get a feel for them and a feel for how you may style them as well. This shirt that I'm wearing is actually from Sheen, one of my other purchases and it's just so nice. Like the material inside so nice, it's one of my go-to shirts at the moment, like you can just throw it on over anything, absolutely living for it. There's nothing here but I have done a, another video which is a She Glam tutorial. Now She Glam is Sheen's makeup range, oh my god is it amazing. Like, it's insane how good their makeup is like under my eyes right now is she glam concealer and it's one of the most fullest coverage concealers i've ever came across and it's so so cheap the eyeliners the brow products the lip glosses the lipsticks the highlighters the contour sticks like it's just absolutely incredible. Check out my little tutorial on that, but definitely add some makeup items to your basket because you will be shook. So Sheen's packaging is really, really good. Everything arrives in branded little Ziploc packaging. So if you're one of those people that love packaging like this because you can reuse it, then you will be happy with that. Let's start with this jumper. Now this jumper is so in at the moment with the little collar. And you usually see people that they'll style this themselves, like they'll put a basic black jumper on and put a shirt on underneath. But I find that to be quite heavy and quite thick and suffocating. Sheen has, of course, did this and put a collar on top of the jumper, so it's already pre-built in for you. The back goes by this little button and you just put that together and you have the nice tight collar. The jumper is so nice, it just says Los Angeles, California, it's just a nice wee length, it is really really thick quality as well, but you can't see my hand through that. Now, they're not really heavy on their boutique range in terms of, it's not really existing, they have some items that are boutique, but then when you put in boutique fashion, normal fashion because that as well, so I don't really know what they're doing with that. But this jumper does say petite and this is actually an extra small but I would say it would do a small if you want a more fitted look but still baggy but if you're wanting a more baggy look I would definitely size up or go true to size. I love this jumper, I think the fact that they've put the collar which is also really good quality in with the jumper is just I'm here for it. I've been absolutely loving these varsity style jackets. Like, I think the first pair that I've seen with one was Zara McDermott of Island, and I seen her varsity jacket, and I was like, neat. So I've been looking for the perfect one. Now, I didn't think this one would be the perfect one, but I just love the colour of it so much. And again, it looks exactly like it does on the website. The colour is really, really bold. The material is so thick, it's so willing, it's so cosy. I absolutely love it. I got this in a size small and it's definitely true to size. If you want to have more of an oversized look, then I would definitely recommend sizing up. It comes with the little popper buttons and it also has 
quite deep pockets they're so cute if you're into the more kind of preppy style then this is definitely for you it's such a cute color if you love pink you'll definitely love this and it is so cozy it is so thick and yet yeah, another great example of how she may be little on price but not little on quality i think that's Lidl's catchphrase but we're going to use it here oh is it is it Lidl's little it was little and price high in quality or something god knows anyways i got some dressy out, out, outfits to pair together and this is how i chose to pair them now first up we have this pink marble flare trousers and we also have just a little basic halter neck top this top is a size extra small and i would say it runs quite big like this was quite baggy on me. Now I always see it in my videos. If you're in, like a regular here, you know this. I have small tits, itty bitty titty club, no titty club, pancake titty club. I'm a member of them all, right? VIP. Huh? The tops are usually quite baggy in that area because obviously these tops you don't wear a bra. But this seemed a little too baggy. When it arrives. It has like the kind of stretch at the back, and then it just comes like this. You put it on. You cross it over your head. These bottoms are true to size. Now these bottoms are absolutely amazing. The fit is so figure hugging. Like they have so many flared trousers. This isn't the only flared trousers in this haul. They have so many on the website that is so hard to choose from. And they just fit you like a glove. They hug you in all the right places. Now these are a size extra small. I do tend to size down to my lower half my size on extra small to small and I always tend to size down on Sheen because when they have stretch in them Sheen usually is your smaller size so basically if you're in between sizes go your smaller size however if there's no stretch I would always recommend going your bigger half of your size like the vibrant colours as well you would not think these were from Sheen like it's just so vibrant they look exactly like they do on the model bottom of course are flared you would not think they were from sheen like the marble leggings the marble dresses skirts tops it's just so bang on trend at the moment and it's just such 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 a look and those flares are no exception but they are pretty bold and i think maybe a little bit too bold for me but if you love bold or you're darker skinned you'll absolutely love them they'll look sexy AF on you so definitely get that. Another outfit that I chose to match together I thought if I didn't think it was either someone on the reviews or actually on the model had this a matching outfit and I was like that is a bit of me that. But it is these lace cycle shorts and this lace halter neck top. Now these tops are absolutely everywhere in the moment you'll have seen it became TikTok famous in terms of that this gives anyone with no boobs the illusion that you have boobs and I totally agree with that. As previously said, small tits here and this top makes me look like I have boobs. It makes you feel confident, it makes you feel like an actual woman and not a wee boy. The thing about these tops is don't trust the bitch. Like, they look good, it looks good, but she will deceive you the minute you try bending over. I did literally, I done a jump test in this top. I bent down, moved all around to see my boobs fall out. And actually compared to the other ones I bought from Sheen, this does hold a lot better. I have a black one that's just plain black and I have an orange one that's just plain orange. I'll show you a picture up here. And my boobs were just falling out every five minutes like not cute. I just thought this little set was absolutely gorgeous but my boyfriend says it's too lingerie to be good out. I think it's so sexy and maybe if you're single then go out and wear it. I can see why he thinks it attracts attention because I look good in it. I love how it looks on. It's just such a sexy outfit. These shorts are a size small. I would say personally I would have went an extra small. I don't know if they do an extra small because sometimes she can start as an extra small. Other times just start at a small and you just have to like take the small. Only issue I had with them were that they kind of did do anything from a bum. Like the bit at the back, the seam at the back that you would usually like hike right up your arse crack just wasn't happening. So it just looks like I had a uni bum. Um, 
no the other ones are usually joined at the top this one you tie i think that's why this one is a lot better because the other ones you just kind of got to take the material as it is however this one you can control how tight you make it around your neck so i think that's why this one might be a little bit more durable so in a size small and i would definitely say these tops are more than true to size however if you have bigger boobs then of course this might not be enough material for you in a small so next up we have our second pair of flare trousers now i have already worn these out before i got to film this haul because i absolutely loved them the day they arrived i wore them fell in love with them right away now i've been looking for a kind of brown flared trouser leggings for a while and i've seen these on sheen and i had to have them because it's so hard as a petite gal to find something that fits your legs but also does the job properly like hugs your bum your thighs and just flatters you all in one that is a lot to ask for as someone who is petite who has an hourglass figure it is a lot to ask for and these tick all the boxes like this is a size extra small again stretchy they're ribbed and at the bottom they do have this kind of floral cut print i'm usually not too much of a fan of that because it does kind of remind me of childhood items but oh like the rest of these leggings just make you forget about that even existing these are so comfy like i wore these when i went out to a chinese buffet and i could still breathe so that says a lot about them like they were so comfy I didn't look, even when I get bloated, I didn't look bloated in them, which is also a plus. They stretch with your bloating. Like, these are an absolute win. They're also good for petite gals. Like, they fit me really well. Maybe too well. So, I'd say maybe if you're above five foot four or something, they may be a bit short on you. But, yeah, these are absolutely amazing. I cannot recommend these enough. The colour is just beautiful. The fit is beautiful. And you can see from a little photo up there that these leggings are just absolutely unbelievable. And they can be styled so many ways. So, yeah, definitely get onto that bandwagon. So I also thought I would try Sheen's basic jersey shorts. Now they must have at least 20 colours of these. I just had to try them. These are the grey ones. Now these are a size extra small. I would say go to your bigger half of your size. I do like my shorts tighter into more figure hugging. Like if I'm about the house, I actually like stuff to be quite form fitting, which is kind of weird. I know, but that's just how I am. Once in my life. Even though they hugged me, I would size up them, pretty little thing, boohoo, all these shops. When you buy shorts like this, they're usually quite thin, quite flimsy for the exact same price. Or dearer, these have such a thick waistband. Like, they are so thick. And, and the shorts in general are like proper jersey material. You can barely see my hand through them and that is when you know you don't have a hand. So next up is another wee matchy matchy set and I've definitely saved the best matching set for last for this one. Now I matched this myself, I was looking for a top that would go with the skirt. Now as soon as I seen this skirt, they also have them in like trousers and tops, the same pattern. As soon as I seen this skirt, I had to have it. The colours looked so vibrant, they just looked electric and it's like nothing I've ever seen before on any online fashion websites. It was just so different. Lately I have been experimenting with different styles and different kind of fits and just different prints and I feel like that is something everyone should do at least once. Like just experiment a bit, get out of your comfort zone and you may find a new style altogether that you can play. So next up is another wee matchy matchy set and I've definitely saved the best matching set for last for this one. Now I matched this myself, I was looking for a top that would go with the skirt. Now as soon as I seen this skirt, they also have them in like trousers and tops, the same pattern. As soon as I seen this skirt, I had to have it. The colours looked so vibrant, they just looked electric and it's like nothing I've ever seen before on any online fashion websites. It was just so different. Lately I have been experimenting with different styles and different kind of fits and just different prints and I feel like that is something everyone should do at least once. Like just experiment a bit, get out of your comfort zone and you may find a new style altogether that you can blend old style seamlessly. So this skirt I had originally bought in the small However, it wouldn't zip up. I then bought it in the medium and it fits like a glove. How stunning is that print? The colours in it are absolutely crazy. Like, the colours are so bold. 
the print is so stunning like I cannot believe this is all sheen it also has a little underskirt can you believe it honestly like it does have the zip enclosure to the side but this is honestly one of the most beautiful skirts I've ever seen because of the colours, because of how vibrant it is, the print, everything about it just screams attention to me, like, ah, living for it. So I was looking for a little top to pair it with and I chose this little basic orange one. Now I just thought this is something quite simple, it is also something I could wear to raves or anything like that, so I kind of bought it with that in mind. It's simple and I thought maybe it was going to be a little too simple for this outfit, but no, I absolutely love it together. It is a size small, definitely stay true to size on this one. There's a little buckle here, so just do it as you put the top on and then fasten your seatbelt. That top is absolutely stunning. You can move it up a little bit above the boobs if you have boobs and leave the buckle on underneath. But yeah, definitely so simple but so beautiful. Day is just stunning. Like, Lose better take me out for a day. Absolutely rapid because I need to wear that outfit now. Okay, so the item in this haul was a bit of a risk. There was no reviews on it in terms of photos. So it was quite risky. Looking at the item on the model i thought okay it looks really good however when it arrived it was that kind of weird material like here the sound it's that kind of weird material where it's like fake coating okay so the size small when i put these on however personally i want to size down to an extra small but I don't know, they do look really nice, there's something really really stunning about them when they're on. I'm going to get an extra small and see if I actually want to keep them, so I'll decide after that. But I was quite shocked how nice they look on because I took them out of the packaging and I just thought that you look so cheap, you look like you just don't look that nice. They are described as a mom jean. Wouldn't necessarily say they're a mom jean, maybe because they don't hug your legs, but I would definitely say size down in them because the material is definitely bigger made. Now they come with the zip at the front, they also come with little belt loops as well so that is really, really cute. Oh my god, okay this is probably one of the best things I've ever bought from Sheen. Now all the money I spent in gym leggings like Gymshark and Viderwear and recently Evil and all along Sheen was where it was at. Like how did i get it so long so these leggings okay the bum scrunch is no joke now if you're like me you appreciate a good bum scrunch right i work hard on my bum i just want my arse to look decent in the gym and bum scrunch is definitely the way to do that but oh my god gymshark have these in the exact same style the ombre blue leggings i've actually personally tried them i did not like them and these not only are the similar style to the Gymshark, they have the scrunch and they also have the contour pattern at the bottom. Holy fuck, holy fuck do these give you the most amazing figure. Like I wore these to the gym the other night and I felt like an absolute goddess. Like I, I was checking myself out the mirror, I was such a basic bitch right if you're looking for active wear you're looking for new leggings so they're going to like fall winter spring go to sheen like they have these in blue they have them in pink they have them in grey black they actually have a pair that i have from gym shirt that's like black and grey and i was like should i buy them even though i had the exact same pair from gym shirt minus the bum scrunch i decided not to on this occasion but Knowing now how good that bum scrunch is, I might bin the gym shirt ones. I'm not even joking. I know how you sometimes put leggings on for bum scrunch and they don't go up your bum. They just kind of sit there. These are riding you. They are absolutely riding you. I'm not even joking. And the material as well is so thick. Like, this is a size small. And I usually like in between H to small and a small. Definitely stay true to size on these ones. Like, so many people are wearing them in the reviews. You can get a better idea of what suits your figure more. Like, oh my god, I just love you. I just love you. Louis is probably absolutely sick of hearing me groan about how much I love these leggings when I wore them to the gym. Like, oh, they don't even give you a camel toe. Like, they're so good. So definitely patch Gymshark. Patch all these overpriced websites, okay? Sheen. 
is officially where it is at. Don't know how many times I'm going to say bum scrunch in this video, but it's happening. <laughs> I just love the scrunch, oh my god. Gonna be cash now, just buy them, yeah, buy them. No biggie. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe to my channel because it means so much that you guys support me and you like what I'm giving you. So thank you. Follow me on Instagram, especially if you want to participate in the polls. It will then go into my girl talk video at that being girl. And just show me some love. In the description you will see my blog www.atthatbeingal.com and don't forget to check that out because over the next few months there will be a lot more content coming on my blog and you don't want to miss that so subscribe to my blog mailing list. Stay safe and sassy. Bye!